If I'm watching, you know, a news channel and there's a doctor who um, wants to kind of discredit cannabis as medicine, you know, often you'll hear them use the term, well, a lot of people just use it to get high. And the journalist or the host of the show or whatever goes, oh, right, 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 I, I understand. Um, but is the doctor and that journalist even sharing the same definition of what getting high means? Or they have completely different ideas of how to define getting high and they just nod their head and agree on it without really having any sort of discourse to define what getting high means. You know, when, when I hear people use the term, you know, getting high, I always like to say, what does that mean? You know, and I think it would be interesting to get a huge different cross-section of people and ask them, what does that term mean? To some people, getting high means up to no good. To other people, getting high means temporarily forgetting about your problems to, you know, relieve stress. To other people, um, getting high means to avoid your problems, which is a bad thing. Some people getting high means, um, you know, th those people who dodge the draft and aren't patriots. Or uh, there's just so much tied up in what getting high, to some people getting high means I'm a rebel, you know what I mean? Or getting high means, you know, uh, I think for myself. To other people getting high means, you know, uh, I, I disagree with my parents. So it's like, there's no real clear cut understood definition of what getting high means. So I think it's a really dangerous, uh, kind of irresponsible term to use, um, especially if you're a medical professional. Um, so uh, I, I just think, you know, our word choice, it's like it, it's real easy to come up with a term that can uh, mean so many different things. And that's, to me, that's an interesting conversation. Whenever someone uses the term getting high and I say, what's that mean? I always get a, a completely different answer from everybody. One of the big things we hear against um, people who are against the use of cannabis is that, well, a lot of people just want to use it to get high. And I hear doctors use this term a lot. Oh, people use it to get high. But I think that's such a non-medical term. And if we're talking about cannabis in terms of, you know, wellness and medicinal use, I would like to know I would like to hear what a thousand different people thought or think the word getting high means. Um, because I think it means something different to almost everyone. And, uh, you know, I think a bunch of people attribute whatever negative thing they want to the term getting high. And some people think of getting high as a positive thing. But what does, what does it mean to get high? I think another thing that would be interesting to, to have journalists explore is um, due to the rise of these CBD only laws in certain states um, uh, where, you know, CBD because it's been on CNN and Sanjay Gupta has heralded it and it's non-psychoactive, it's getting a lot of good press right now. Um, and the, there's kind of this misunderstanding that's being formed and perpetuated in Congress and other places where CBD is the medicinal component of marijuana and THC is the recreational component of marijuana. And that's not true. They're both very therapeutic, you know, molecules. And um, the two of them together when combined are more effective than either one um, used alone. And so I think one of the things that, one of the conversations that cannabis also starts is the, the rise of uh, whole plant medicine or um, maybe the, um, the notion that something beyond a single molecule medicine can be more effective, right? Like the whole reason Whole Foods called their supermarket Whole Foods is because, you know, why take vitamins from a pill? when you can get your vitamins from whole foods, right? And a carrot or a, or a beet or, you know, different foods, they have a whole litany of, of uh, different nutrients in them rather than just a single molecule, you know, rather than a single nutrient. So um, that's another aspect of um, how cannabis is pushing a conversation forward is, you know, plant-based medicine, um, the popularity of 
you know, medicines that aren't just single molecule medicines that can have, you know, a multitude of beneficial effects. And then, of course, we've all heard of the term the entourage effect. So, 